Hi Year 12s, we're going to use one trig ratio to help us find the exact value of another trig ratio. You can do this with trig identities, uh, but we haven't learned those yet, so we're going to learn a different strategy that always works too. Okay, so we are given that um, theta is an obtuse angle and sine theta is a fifth. So we're going to start by focusing on sine theta as a fifth and draw ourselves a right angle triangle and completely ignore the fact that theta is obtuse. It won't matter. So we're going to put in theta in any corner that you like. Okay, and we know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so we can write in 1 over 5. There we go. We can now use our favourite formula, Pythagoras' theorem, to work out the missing side. So this is going to be uh, 25 take away 1 and square rooted. So that will be root 24, which is 2 root 6. You can use your calculator. Right. We're asked to find the exact value, so we can't use decimals, of cos theta. So cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, isn't it? And we know that that would be 2 root 6 over 5. But now we need to start thinking about theta being an obtuse angle. So I'm going to draw myself a cast diagram. And we know that sine is positive, but we're also told we have an obtuse angle. We measure all our angles from zero anti-clockwise. So this quadrant here is the quadrant of obtuse angles. Okay, so we know that theta is that angle there. Right, now in this section, only sine gives positive answers. So that means cos must actually be negative. So the final answer would be cos theta is negative 2 root 6 over 5. Okay? And just to show you, on your calculator, um, you wouldn't get exact values. If we try doing inverse sine of 1 fifth, okay, and then we do cos of that, uh, then we just get a messy decimal. But what we could do is check that 2 root 6 over um, 5 is, in fact, the same value. And then we know we have an obtuse angle, so we have to have negative. Right, let's try a different example. So we've got sine of alpha this time is minus 3 quarters. Find the possible exact values of alpha. So we know we've got values, so we might have more than one answer. We start the same from our sine ratio. We can draw a nice right angle triangle. We can pick any corner to be our angle alpha. And we know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we're putting 3 over 4. And I'm just ignoring the minus at the moment. OK. So if we want to find this third side, we can use Pythagoras. So we do 4 squared minus 3 squared. So 16 take away 9, so that's going to be 7. So this is root 7. And we want the possible values, the exact values of tan. So we know that tan is opposite over adjacent. So that would be 3 over root 7. But we want to rationalise that denominator. So we times by root 7 over root 7. So we get 3 root 7 over 7. OK, so to find out where this possible values comes in, we draw ourselves a nice cast diagram. We know this time that sine is negative. So it can't be here where everything's positive. It can't be here where sine is positive. It must be either here or here. So our angle, theta, could either be this angle here, or we could have this angle here, or in fact, we could have the negative angle and so on. But whatever, we want to find out what tan is. We know that tan would be positive here, but negative there. So we actually get two different solutions. We get plus or minus 3 root 7 over 3. OK. One final example then. So. so we have got tan is negative 2. And we know exactly which region of values we want to pick our angle to be in. And we need the exact value of cos. 
So we start again the same with tan and we draw ourselves a nice right angle triangle. The angle is X. Okay. Um, and this time we're told that tan X is minus 2. But we know that tan is opposite over adjacent. So if the opposite was 2, then we'd have an adjacent of 1. Because minus 2 is the same as minus 2 over 1. So we put in 2 and 1 and we ignore the minus at the moment. We want to find the third side. Use Pythagoras. 1 squared, add 2 squared and square root. Okay. And if we want the exact value of cos, we are going to do adjacent of our hypotenuse. And if we rationalise the denominator, we get root 5 over 5. Okay, so now we're going to sketch ourselves a cast diagram. And we're going to go to the quadrant where we're between 180 and 270. So this is 0 to 90, 90 to 180, 180 to 270. So we're in here. Okay, so our angle would be this one around there. Okay, now what we need to know from that is, is cos positive or negative in this quadrant? Well, only tan is positive, so cos would be negative. And that's it.